be in a whole mood. We both know something is wrong. I'm trying to have the elephant in the room conversation. And you like, I can't talk about it right now. <sighs> what? And I don't think people realize that, that your boundaries are for you. They're not for the other person. So when she was telling me like, hey, I need space to process because I'm not a verbal processor. And I insisted that she process now because that's what I want. Like, I need clarity. So you need to tell me right now what's going on. Like, what's happening? How you feeling? Where you at? Like, you're in a place. You're in a mood. It feels awkward right now. And I just want to get rid of that. So I'm not willing to sit in it. And I'm trying to push her past this boundary that she set. That's so disrespectful. It's so unloving. It's so selfish of me to do that. And I used to do that to her all the time. What is reassuring is that I no longer thought, if we don't have this conversation right now, we're going to break up. I'm like, we have to deal with this now so that we don't fall apart. <laughs> and, and she's like, we not gonna fall apart. So she was loving me by reassuring me like, we're fine. I just need space to go deal with this. And I had to believe her and I was just gonna have to sit in whatever discomfort I was, you know, feeling. That's that's some grown up stuff right there. That's That to me is like the real, real of like doing relationships well. That's what I'm saying. That's some high level heart combo stuff. That's some high level mm -hmm. connection stuff. Most people aren't doing this. Yeah, most people can't do that. We, they can. 